I reached out to uh, Kat Sandler uh, because I think she's one of Canada's finest playwrights and I, and I pitched her on the idea of could you write two plays that were connected. So Kat came here to the, the Citadel and we walked through all the spaces together and uh, dreamed up what could happen. I think Kat, she's so, uh, so inventive and uh, courageous as a playwright. Uh, it's been a real collaborative process between the two of us. Both of them are very much about like what what we believe in and what, what lengths we will go to to achieve our, our success in politics. Uh, they're, they're both really sort of door slamming funny farces, uh, but with a real, uh, a really great sort of political question lying underneath them. And that's what I love most about Kat's writing is as much as you laugh uh, throughout, it is writing that, that is pro provocative at the same time. We started with politics because, because politics are funny. <laughs> um, and it gave us a really good, uh, a really good place to start. I think, I think because we wanted to do uh, a farce and, and Kat was really interested in the idea of what uh, of finding humor in sort of contemporary politics. That's the thing that got us excited off the top. The characters are all uh, imagined. They're all made up. You, there are lots of characters that, uh, that rely on sort of the archetypes that we know in political characters. There are definitely, uh, you know, one of the characters feels a lot like Hillary Clinton. There's one, a character that has, that is sort of inspired by Obama, those types. Uh, but, uh, but with their own sort of backstory. But that, I think for us, that's an easy way for us to access uh, the, the politics and the politicians that we know and to get into that story. They are standalone events of theater, so you can just buy a ticket, come see one, have a great night, but the hope is, is that you'll be so excited by the story that you'll want to come back and see how the story continues.